Hi everyone, welcome to Black Economics, the Young Ladies panel. Today we are missing one person, Ophiri. We are sending our love to her and hopefully she'll be back soon. Uh, but for today, we're holding the fort down, myself, Corride, and... Serena, hi. Hi. So um, today we're going to talk about current affairs, things that are happening right now in our society, in the world, and just giving our two cents on that. Um, so let's get straight into it. All right, Serena. So... Right now, um, a lot of people are talking about the Simone Biles um, situation. So a woman who has um, dropped out essentially of the Olympics, she is, um, she has a lot of accolades, you know, a lot of gold medals, silver medals to her name. She's fantastic. Um, but on this occasion, she decided to put her mental health first and um, it has caused a lot of controversy. I don't know, what do you think about um, the whole situation in terms of a woman um, deciding, you know, I need to put myself first, even though I'm an athlete, yes, but I'm just one person and when this is all done, I'm still me, <laughs> you know, I, I still have to look after myself. Um, I don't know, what do you think? I think that just with mental health in general, especially when it comes to people who work in media, uh, there has the media has really pushed the fact, the scientific fact that mental health is just as important as physical health. So a lot of people are not oblivious to that fact. They are aware that the two are very strongly equal and that sometimes even mental health can even be worse if our mentally it really is declined. So it's not that I feel like a lot of people are aware of the significance of her having mental health problems. They just don't care or empathize with her as much because it doesn't fit the stereotype mm. with the hat now for people to say that it's not um it's not worth it for sports i feel like it's very much to do with the fact which um black women as we'll go into discussing uh, have always had this like you know we're fierce or sort of violent we're strong and even to like to turn the situation just slightly for one second there's even like a recent clip of like a Karen going crazy on some black women. And I feel like just because black women are seem to like defend themselves, the white women lashed out on her, but no one even went to really aid her in the, in this. Mm -hmm. It's like, we're always taught to defend ourselves and no one feels like they should defend us because we always have our own backs and we're always strong enough and you know, oh, we'll beat you. Like we just have this very warped perception of us in social media, but we are really not just social media, all types of media but we are still just as um, more women as anyone else and that um we do have struggle with mental health and that we do have our own issues and that shouldn't be dismissed just like as i said they push it in media for everyone mental health has been a serious topic for a long long time so i genuinely don't believe it's because people don't realize the significance i believe it's because they don't think that she is deserving of the empath empathy to do with wow. it in my opinion but wow. yeah that's a big one that's really key because I think um as well it's um I think it's unfortunate in the sense that it's she's not the first one to have done that um and it's a conversation that seems to be evolving so before that I believe there was um this uh woman that plays tennis I'm so so sorry I don't actually know her name but she was she's quite prominent in the tennis world as well who also um put her mental health first as well and she got a lot of backlash for that I think we're in a space where we're evolving as a society to kind of find a balance between um our duty to others as but our responsibility to ourselves like realizing that we're only one person and trying to find the balance um I actually think it's a hard one. I really, really do because most definitely like people were counting on her. So I think that's the issue where people feel some type of way, like people were counting on you, people, so you spent five years between the last Olympics and this Olympics to get ready. Um, and now, you know, you're not able to, um, you know, give what people thought you would be able to give. Um, um, but then we're just human. And I think there needs to be a space for that where our humanity shows up whenever it does. She's not, she, you know, she, she's not superhuman. She appears to do something that the rest of us can't. So it, maybe it makes us put her on a pedestal. But the reality behind that is that she is just like you and I. She just has a superpower or a special thing about her um, that um, makes us, I think, more harsh when we judge people like her and people within the um, media space or celebrity kind of space. Um, we hold them to a higher um, expectation than we will hold ourselves, if we're honest, because if I go to work and I'm not feeling too good, my line manager or somebody is responsible to ensure that I'm okay, all right? So why is that not the case for her? She, so that day wasn't her day and she needed to step back to look after herself. 
Um, but yeah, I can I can understand why it's it's a conversation to have because when you're in a transition in a society, we have the lines are blurred. Um, mm-hmm. And I hope at some point we figure that out. <laughs> okay. um, I feel yeah, like it's a shame as well because you can't really put like no one, well, at least I don't know the extent to what is going on in her life. And I know that there, um, you mentioned earlier, there's like um, competitions coming up now. I hope that people don't kind of like add like a time frame to how long she's allowed to have this space. Mm-hmm. No one really understands the true extent of what she's going through. And um, also um, having that immense amount of pressure in itself Um, yes she might be a great great gymnast but she might not necessarily be capable of holding that pressure 24 because it's a lot of weight on your shoulders you've seen with like other sports how people really put athletes on this very harsh the world's looking at you you have to do this for us now that alone is actually very hard I feel like not a lot of people imagine themselves in that situation and just think about that alone how much stress that would constantly feel every time you go up there in front of the stadium you know every single person wants you to succeed people place bets on your name people are gonna yeah. cash up you know it's immense amount of pressure so I feel like that shouldn't even like moving forward I hope there's not like a time frame whatever time she needs to just gather herself especially being in the public eye and having so much scrutiny mm. not just from us but even from coaches it's a very tough 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 industry to be and you're constantly getting scrutinized by every single person if she needs whatever time she needs people should respect that allow her to gather herself allow her to be in the right frame of mind to be able to handle it especially if they want her to stay there for long term or be there for the best you know for as long as she can she really does need that time to get herself together i think that's very important as well yeah yeah, yeah i think yeah that, what you said is, is so so key um, mm-hmm. It is the amount of pressure already on them. Um, actually, reminds me of a YouTuber said that um, they said that one of the things that YouTube advises anybody whose channel is growing quickly, they tell them to get a therapist. Like it's it's <laughs> like well, if you're on the internet, get a therapist, and that's sad because in the sense that they they already know you're gonna need extra like like extra to be able to get you through this like they already said you know what you're gonna have to take your mental health oh. um, seriously <laughs> because the backlash that's gonna come your way you're not going to be able to handle it without having, you know, professional help in, 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 in that. Um, and I, I'm very pro-therapy, so that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's so unfortunate that you have to prepare yourself for what the rest of the world will throw at you, yeah. you know? Um, and I think that's the situation with regards to Simone Biles here, where um, it's, it's, it's like, regardless of what she's doing, it's like all of this info, all of this is coming at her, no matter what, pre- before this. So honestly, shout out to her for getting this far without, 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 you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're so right. I really do hope that they give her the time that she needs um, to recover because yeah, the rest of us can only imagine what it's Literally. like to be under that kind of pressure. <laughs> Yeah, I do feel like people need to really realise that. I feel especially on the internet, it allows people to be under a shield and just say whatever they want. It doesn't it, it doesn't really help with human empathy, but I feel like if some people just really sat back and generally tried to put themselves in her shoes, I feel like they'd definitely give her a lot more of a break. Mm-hmm.